What does the Buddhist master expect from his or her students? Buddhist teacher uh, cannot expect anything from his or her students. You know? uh, he or she uh, would uh, willingly and uh, um, with uh, good intention uh, try to share whatever he or she learned. And it is up to the student whether they uh, truly study that or not, whether they truly practice that or not. Uh, the teacher cannot force anybody uh, to do anything. You know, they cannot force them to uh, practice. They cannot force them to, uh, to do anything. Uh, it's totally up to the students whether they would study, whether they would practice, uh, whether they would, you know, um, how much uh, genuinely practice or not. So, you know, uh, there is nothing you can really expect and you can't expect anything. Uh, and as Buddha said, you know, I show you the way, it's up to you. That's Buddha said. Even Buddha said like that. I cannot. I cannot uh, wash away your defilements with a kind of uh, some water. I cannot pour in my wisdom into you. You, know, you cannot do it. I cannot wipe off all your problems with my hands. Yeah. I just. Uh, give you uh, the method how to liberate yourself and that liberation whether you get or not is completely up to you that's what Buddha said yeah so if even Buddhas cannot expect uh, too much uh, there is this uh, a story that once Buddha was teaching uh, and then uh, one uh, student who was listening to the teachings very often uh, one day came up to Buddha and asked a question. He said, you know, uh, I've been listening to your teachings for many, many years now and I like your teachings extremely well. But I see that, you know, some students come, they really benefit from your teachings, they practice and they become, you know, arahats and they become very highly re realized and they are completely transformed. But many of us, like me, uh, who receive your teachings and we like your teachings and we like you and we are very kind of uh, grateful to you, but we don't become anything different. We don't transform. You know, we just like same as before. Why is that? And Buddha said, who are you? you know, where, do you where do you live? Where are you from? He says, yes, I am from here, Varanasi. You know, I have a business here. Buddha said, but you know, I hear your, your dialect your, uh, is not from here. And he said, yes, I am from Gaya. Actually, I am from Gaya. Uh, but I have business here. Then Buddha said, in that case, maybe you are going back to Gaya often. He says, yes, I go to Gaya very often. Buddha said, you might know the way to Gaya then. He says, of course I know the Gaya, as if it is on my own palms. Then Buddha says, sometimes people may ask you the how to go to Gaya. He says, yes, lots of people ask me, and I tell them everything, why not? And Buddha said, Everybody who asks you how to go to Gaya, do they reach Gaya? He says, that's up to the person, you know. If they take my guidance seriously and if they really travel exactly by that uh, guidance, they will reach there, otherwise not. And Buddha says, 
same with me. You know, I know the way to Buddhahood. I know the way to liberation. And I show everybody. I tell everybody how to get there. Uh, but only those who actually uh, tread the path, actually, then they will get there. Otherwise not. The same problem with me. So this is how it is. <laughs>